Hello, this is Yukiko from my home office in New Jersey, and it is a crowded day today. Today, I'd like to talk to you about continuing episode of how to gain self-confidence. This will be based on step two formula of self-confidence by Napoleon Hill, and I'll read that passage. Second step. I realize that the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I will concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become thereby creating in my mind a clear mental picture of that person. That is Self-Confidence Formula, Step 2, by Napoleon Hill in Think and Grow Rich. This was published over 75 years ago, and Napoleon Hill, as you know, is the grandfather of personal development who has compiled Principles of Success, 13 Principles, and then it is read and followed worldwide by many, many people. So, let's think about this. He's talking about dominating thoughts. Well, look at our current dominating thoughts. You probably are focused on building self-confidence because it's a little bit on the shaky ground. Is that not true? So your dominating thoughts may not be the most positive, wonderful outcome at the moment. You are working to create in your mind, fill your mind, positive thoughts, positive image of who you want to become. Napoleon Hill is wonderful wonderful guideline in creating a long-term goals. But the short-term goal, we need to take a look at a little bit more closely of practical matters. Most likely, you and me and many people are in a situation that they like to change, they like to get out of. And then we have Three different stages, three different stages, oops, three different stages, one, two, three, one, two, three different stages. And, you know, number one situation is always, we're so trained to look at what we have, it is to have stage. Well, we realize we don't have enough money, we don't have a good job. Our car is breaking down, so we don't have a great operating car. Maybe house needs lots of repair, so we don't have a nice house. It's always about having and having and having. And that's what we measure our success and then our confidence for that matter. And number two, it's about doing. So you have to work hard. You have to exercise so much. You got to clean the house. You have to go and then meet, make phone calls and make appointments in order for me to be happy. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to please my spouse. I have to take care of all the chores before I can relax. So second stage that we think about is to do stage. 
rarely do we come to the third most important gauge for us that is to be stage one two three to be who we are our own being I am a spiritual being I am endowed with great energy of the universe I am always feeling peaceful and calm and relaxed that is the state of being and we usually don't measure our success or our confidence in terms of our own being so our dominating thoughts are always about what I don't have and the problems so we need to turn it around and switch it around so when we start to focus and concentrate start with about five ten minutes and catch yourself all the time so just always when you catch yourself feeling so negative just catch yourself or focus on what you don't have your problems and worries I gotta take care of this and I gotta do that all these things start to strike become being of peaceful relaxed and believe in yourself a little bit so how do you do that you see in my office right behind me is a little yoga mat and a exercise ball I take five ten minutes every time when I'm working not that I need one hour of yoga class every day and I do it you know first thing in the morning for 45 minutes but take a little time stretch yourself remove stress out of your mind out of your body first and just wiggle around exercise and stretch raise your arms and raise your legs and then turn, twist you around your neck and breathe deep and always continually release that negative feelings and then start to focus on the immediate goal that you have if you are like me and if you are like many people who are seeking a new opportunity who want to turn around things you have a goal set for 30 days next 60 days or next 90 days and it is usually related to financial matters or health matters but let's take a look at online marketing that's where many people or network marketing that's where many people are seeking opportunity where you don't need to write up a resume you don't need job interviews so in this you're setting let's say three thousand dollars five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars or maybe even fifteen thousand dollar goals so your dominating thought is not that I gotta do it I'm gonna do it but you see yourself as if you have already achieved that object of your purpose short-term purpose and the long-term one you know once you get this hurdle of having stage I've got to have it stage to turn around your life you will begin to have more luxury and a peace of mind to create a loftier goal of I want to be a world-renowned leader promoting health happiness peace I like to build a school in Bangladesh in Uganda all these things will begin to happen to you but immediately right now your focus is about what you're gonna do next 30 days next 60 days or next 90 days to move things around so you start with a statement I am so happy and grateful in the present tense I am 
so happy and grateful now that I have half stage write down what it is and then you're going to recite it every day not just once twice just put it in an, on an index card and repeat it all the time whenever you have moments a moment so next line will be after you say I am so happy and grateful now that I have or I have achieved it's a having stage next line is I do now that I do because of all the things that you have achieved and you gain now you can do something that you really wanted to do for example for me going to Japan to visit my mom who's in now who's now in a nursing home and then my sister has been taking care of her because I've been a little bit too busy to visit stuff like that you know or uh, now that I moved to California to get closer to my daughters so next stage next step is stating in the present tense the things that you have you are able to do because of you having that thing that you wanted and the third one is the person you are becoming doesn't have to be lofty just state what you feel now that I have achieved this and now that I do this I am peaceful every day I am relaxed every day I am a very joyful person sharing wonderful moments wonderful day with my friends every single day so that is how you work with the second step of Napoleon Hill's self-confidence formula. If I added value to your day or on your way to your successful achievement of your short-term goal, please click below and join us. It is very important for you not to work alone but be supported by a team of like-minded people it's called mastermind group and then we do have mastermind group and we can offer you training and coaching by many field leaders who have achieved their goals already they are not just rich they are not just powerful and then quite distinguished but they have gone through many sessions many trainings and many years of personal development they will understand you they will know how to work with you and now what we ask you is to be coachable and be positive and work hard and be loyal and really like us if we don't tune in together with each other with the group and you then there's no reason for us to work together but if you like what I have been offering in these YouTubes uh, connect me on Facebook and click below click below and uh, join me in my blog and in mastermind group thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful day Yukiko signing off